Hey everybody, it's your trusted king of solar screens, myscreenkit.net. I'm doing what I promised you I would do, my 30-day follow-up. Although I'm going to call this my 60-day follow-up because I didn't do it last month. If you guys remember, I got this uh, e-saver. Supposedly, it's going to help reduce our electric bills dramatically by cleaning up our power. Or yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I don't know. But either way, <laughs> we put it in at the beginning of January. And I just got my bill for mid-February till middle of March. Of course, we're just a couple of days from uh, the end of March. Uh, April being, uh, of course, Monday next week. So here's what I've learned, and I'm going to switch. Now, forgive me my rudimentary, but this is the amount of energy we used. Of course, the month before that was kind of high already anyway, but that was when we put in the e-saver, and of course, that was one year ago now. So we actually used 500 less kilowatts this year than we did one year ago at the same time. Um, we've had some really great temperatures here in Houston. We've spent half of our time, excuse me, with our windows open, enjoying the fresh air. It's really not much of a need for electric uh, heat. I'm sorry, AC use as well. So our electric bill is a little bit lower, I think, because of that. But I wanted to play homage just in case this e-saver watt electricity box is actually working. But I'll come back to you again next month with another update. Um, that was all I wanted to tell you. I'm just going to keep on talking about that to see just how well it actually does. Um, and if it is a 20% reduction and imagine your electric bill already 20% less because you put solar screens up. Oh my gosh, you're almost cutting that sucker in half. And uh, depending where you live in this country, a half of an electric bill may be a car payment, <laughs> maybe two car payments. Those energy gods, boy, they sure love stealing our money. Freaking. Anyway, all right, we'll talk to you soon.